Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Joyce Park, board certified dermatologist, and you know I'm always on a quest to discover and review new skincare brands. Today, I'm really excited to bring you an in-depth review of some pretty amazing science-backed skincare products from the brand Matter of Fact, which is newly launched at Sephora. We'll be exploring five of their key product offerings today. The Brightening and Firming Serum, the Wrinkle and Texture Concentrate, the Resurfacing and Hydrating Serum, the Minimalist Hydrating Moisturizer, and the barrier and antioxidant treatment. I was also lucky enough to grab some time with Paul Bick, the brand's founder, CEO, and formulator, and I'll be sharing some of his insights into the brand's philosophy, as well as the whole formulation process and the rigorous clinical testing standards throughout this video. I do wanna give a shout out here as well. Thank you so much to Matter of Fact for sponsoring this YouTube video and for providing all of the products for my detailed review. Let's get into it. Before we jump into the individual products, let's talk about why Matter of Fact has caught my eye and what makes this brand really unique. In my opinion, this brand stands out for two reasons. One, their commitment to using evidence-backed ingredients with patent pending delivery mechanisms in their formulations. And two, their high standard of clinical testing, measuring product performance on human subjects in three ways qualitatively by an expert grader, as well as consumer perception studies, so the consumers themselves, and also quantitatively using a machine like a Vizia. Their research has even resulted in publications in peer-reviewed journals, which I'll link to below as well. This is more than a lot of other brands do, and Paul actually explains this really well here. I'll let him speak for himself. Our clinical commitment for all of our final formulas is that one, we want to take an unbiased approach. So we only test with third party independent accredited labs. Number two, of course, we want to reflect the real world. So we make and sell products here in the US, which means that we're selling to people with a wide range of skin tones. So we want to reflect that in the clinical testing as well. So we always guarantee that we test on Fitzpatrick's two through five. So light to dark skin tones. And when we can find them, the ones and sixes. And of course, we also want to conduct the studies in a way where we're measuring results in a robust way. So we measure results in three different ways. So one is clinician or expert grading. So can a trained dermatologist or other medical expert detect an improvement before and after treatment? Instrumental measurements, meaning can we objectively measure an improvement using specialized equipment? And then of course, what most people are most familiar with, which is self-assessments. 95% of users agree that after X number of weeks, they saw an improvement in Y feature of skin. That's measuring whether users themselves can perceive a difference in, in their skin. And it's important, I think, for us to do all three, because if all three are in agreement, it's painting a pretty robust, strong picture of what the product is capable of in, in what time frame. Let's jump into the fun part, the products themselves. First up, we have the Brightening and Firming Serum, which contains a powerhouse of active ingredients. We are looking at 20% vitamin C in the form of L-ascorbic acid, ferulic acid, and maritime complex. L-ascorbic acid is the gold standard vitamin C because it is really well studied. You see it comes out kind of like this, like a serum, and it has an incredible brightening effect and antioxidant properties. Ferulic acid is also an antioxidant and it protects against environmental aggressors and it really works hand in hand synergistically with vitamin C. And this is the finish. Maritime Pine Complex is yet another antioxidant rich plant derived extract in this formulation that helps with the effects of pollution on skin. So we know that L-ascorbic acid is notoriously difficult to stabilize and matter of fact developed an Actisolve technology that significantly improves the stability of this finicky ingredient while preserving bioavailability. And they use a special and very unique waterless solvent system that they actually published in the Journal of Investigative Dermatology. And they also had a follow-up paper which showed continued efficacy of this formulation over 17 months, which let me tell you, that is a really long shelf life for vitamin C. So you can see the sustained benefits on dark spots and wrinkling in these before after photos here. So I've been testing
testing this product out and since I have sensitive rosacea prone skin, as you guys know, my pro tip is to actually apply a moisturizer first, like the minimalist hydrating moisturizer as a barrier, which we'll talk about in a second, and then one pump of this vitamin C serum on top. And only use it a few times a week to start and then build up slowly. I think this is a really great product for vitamin C lovers who are people who are really looking to level up their antioxidant dose and who don't maybe have sensitive skin or issues like eczema or rosacea since this is a higher L ascorbic acid percentage at that 20% level. Moving on to the wrinkle and texture concentrate, this potent formula features 0.2% encapsulated retinol, 5% L ascorbic acid, 5% azelaic acid, bacuchiol, tocopherol, ferulic acid, and liquid crystal lipids. That is a lot of goodies packed into one concentrate. And the main function of this product, in my opinion, is to address multiple signs of aging, including texture, fine lines, and dark spots. And my favorite ingredient in here, well, one of them, is the retinol, which is a multitasking vitamin A derivative that helps with all of the above benefits I mentioned. And this concentrate also has multiple brightening ingredients and antioxidants to help you protect against environmental aggressors. And the vitamin E and the skin similar lipids also help to moisturize the skin while decreasing irritation from all the other active ingredients contained in this potent formula. I personally have not been able to use this all over my face yet, even though I'm dying to, because retinol is contraindicated in pregnancy. You can check out some of my pregnancy safe videos here, but I really can't wait to try it after reviewing the ingredients. And you can see the before after photo here showing effects of this concentrate on dark spots and texture. And I think these photos really speak for themselves. Next, let's talk about this cute one. This is the resurfacing and hydrating serum. This has a combination of multiple acids. So we're talking polyhydroxy acid, BHA salicylic acid, and tranexamic acid. And this serum is all about gentle exfoliation. And my favorite ingredient in this has to be the tranexamic acid, which we use all the time to treat dark spots. In fact, we even use it in dermatology as an oral ingredient, obviously different from this one, but as an oral ingredient to help treat hyperpigmentation. And I would recommend this product for those who are struggling with oily skin, congested pores, or if you have dark spots. And I can also see this being a great treatment for those with acne prone skin who maybe are trying to fade some post acne marks. And this is how it applies. It's like a very nice hydrating kind of oily serum. And you would use this instead of the wrinkle and texture concentrate that I just showed a few times a week. I wouldn't use them on the same day. And this product is in fact one of Paul's favorite products that he formulated for himself. Check out what he has to say about this. I have very, very congestion prone, acne prone skin. And so I really do need to use a chemical exfoliant pretty frequently to keep things in check. But of course the problem sometimes with that is, you know, I was using chemical exfoliants that were sometimes strong enough to keep things in check, but it really took my skin to the very edge of what it could tolerate. And it mm. felt like, you know, the wind would blow and then I'd be red and flaky. And then sometimes when I use products that wouldn't provoke that kind of sensitivity and impaired barrier function, it wasn't enough to keep the congestion in check. And so this was a product that I, I spent some time on just for myself to get the powerful exfoliation that I needed, but uh, gentle enough that I didn't see the redness, the flaking. So that's a product that I use almost every single day. Okay, now on to the minimalist hydrating moisturizer. This product keeps it simple yet effective with 5% pro vitamin B5, which is panthenol, liquid crystal lipids, and centella, which is known for its soothing properties. So so it comes like this, you pump it out. And I've been using this for a few months now and I really like it as a daytime moisturizer. I've been layering it, like I mentioned, underneath the brightening and firming serum. And it also layers just really well under makeup. And this is in fact Paul's second favorite product in the entire lineup because it's really hydrating and creamy without leaving behind a waxy or oily residue. And here's a blown up image of the effect of this moisturizer on skin, which actually 
actually showed a 55.7% reduction in skin dryness and scaliness as measured by the VizioScan VC20 Plus device. Last but certainly not least, we have the Barrier and Antioxidant Treatment. This is a nourishing face oil that contains a patent pending combination of 20% liquid crystal lipids, bacuchiol and turmeric root, as well as squalane. And this is a really great option for those who A, like lightweight oils, B, maybe need a little bit of extra hydration during fall or winter if you have super dry skin, and C, you want a thin buffer when you're starting out with new active ingredients like a strong retinol or a retinoid or really high percentage ascorbic acid. Let me just show you the texture here. A little bit goes a long way here. So it comes out like an oil and it's just so nourishing, very lightweight, really nice texture. Real quick, before we wrap up, let's talk about how to incorporate these products into your overall skincare routine. There are a lot of active ingredients at really high percentages, and I always recommend starting slowly. Introduce one product at a time, and then really monitor your skin's response. If you have sensitive skin like I do, rosacea, eczema-prone dry skin, do a little patch test on a small area of skin, like behind your ear, or maybe here on your jawline, and test out the product for a few days before putting it all over your face to make sure that you don't have a reaction. And never forget, always use sunscreen during the day, especially when using products containing retinol or different acids to really protect your skin from potential sensitivity. Wrapping up here, I am really impressed by all of the active ingredients and the rigorous testing that Matter of Fact performs on each product before it hits the Sephora shelves. They really set the bar high for how skincare products are tested both quantitatively and qualitatively qualitatively, and they're really pushing the envelope and in creating innovative ingredient delivery systems and combinations of high percentages of active ingredients. As I mentioned, I've been testing these products out for the past few months now, and I'm truly impressed by all of the formulations. I hope that this deep dive into Matter of Fact skincare range was both informative and helpful for you as you're considering different skincare products and brands. Feel free to leave questions or comments below as usual. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Until next time.